ask if there's anything she wants to tell me about this. Decir algo, juez. Nosotros estábamos en la luz parado y el frente de nosotros había una, una guagua. Yo no me había percatado que estaban los guardias dando tickets. Ese día estaban dando el ticket a todo el mundo que pasaba por ahí. No nada más ahí, a mí. A todo el mundo que pasaba le daban tickets. Frente de mí había una guagua. Yo no me encuentro que yo estaba rápida. Um. Were you listening to your mother? Yes, I was. What did she say? She said that she did not know because she didn't feel that she was going fast. Were you in the car with your mother when this happened? Oh, either yes or no. Do you remember? Were you in the car with her? Yes. You were. Do you remember when the police officer pulled her over? I do not remember when they pulled her over, but I was in the car. Well, you don't remember the, being with the police officer when you, t when you stopped your mother? No. No? Then I don't think you were in the car. It must have been another day, right? So you, <clears throat> so you just made a mistake, right? Yes. All right. Now, next we have to ask you is, do you believe everything your mother said about this case? Yes, I do. All right. <clears throat> do you believe everything she says about other things? Yes, I do. Even the one she says about you? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she happens to say that you're a very good boy, so you believe that, right? <laughs> All right, now, so if you were me and you had to charge your mother, <clears throat> would you charge her $95? Would you charge her a court cost of $60? Or would you dismiss the case? What would you do? I would dismiss the case. You would dismiss it? <laughs> well, I guess, Inspector Quinn, since I asked the advice, I have to take it. Well, you made a good impression today. You started off poor, but you made a good recovery. <laughs> you rallied. <clears throat> so is there anything else you want to say? Yes, sir. My mom, she's looking for work because she's trying to move from a house that's why she, she can't spend her money on anything. All right. So, so your mom is in the search of a new apartment. She needs a new apartment. <clears throat> and you don't have much money at home. So this would be a real tough financial burden on her. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. <clears throat> Shake my hand. Look at me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good kid. All right? You love your mom. Right, you made a good plea on her behalf, and you you show you're showing me that you understand the hardship the hardship that your mother is going through, right? But here's what you have to remember, okay? So you're a bright young guy, right? And your mother obviously comes from another country, and she brought you here so that you could have the advantages of this great country. So you're going to be very successful someday. And remember, take care of your mother, right? And your sister. And other people will need help because you get a good heart. Okay? All right. Take care. <laughs> okay, the case is dismissed.